Hello, I'm Tani, Baroness Grey Thompson, and a crossbench peer in the House of Lords. Welcome to the Houses of Parliament, the very heart of British democracy. These are historic buildings, and it would be easy to think with some parts of the Palace of Westminster dating back to 1097, the disabled access was non-existent. But I'm happy to say that there's been lots of work done to make sure that these important buildings are open for everyone, because access needs to be democratic. And what's more, there's the Houses of Parliament Visitors Services team who are committed to making your experience as smooth and as comfortable as possible. They've produced a series of video access guides to help you plan ahead for your visit. The Houses of Parliament look forward to welcoming you. Getting here. The Palace of Westminster is one of the most iconic landmarks in the world, attracting more than a million visitors a year. People come to see the British parliamentary process in action, viewing debates in the Houses of Commons and Lords, or the work of the various select committees. Others come to Westminster to take one of the many tours on offer. Located in the heart of London, there are many ways to get here. Hello, I'm Nick. I'm a House of Commons Information Officer. Here at Westminster, we are very well served by public transport, which is great because we have no public parking available on site. But if you do choose to drive, you can pay to use Abingdon Car Park off Great College Street. There are also a limited number of blue badge parking bays on streets further away. Please check Westminster City Council's website for details. That's www.westminster.gov.uk. We are in the congestion zone, so do check to see if charges apply to your vehicle. Blue badge holders can register with Transport for London for an exemption from the charge. Taxis can safely drop off close to Victoria Tower and outside Portcullis House. All of London's black cabs are fitted with ramps with space for a standard wheelchair, grab rails and an intermediate step. Most are also fitted with hearing induction loops and swivel seats for those with restricted mobility. Assistance dogs travel free of charge. If you're planning to arrive by public transport, do visit the Transport for London website where you'll find a route planner, maps and access information. There are numerous bus routes that pass really close to us. London buses are fitted with ramps and have spaces for wheelchair users. If you find the step tricky, you can ask the driver to make the bus kneel for you and there are priority seats near the front for those who have difficulty standing. Buses have a handy PA system and a visual display to let you know the route, destination and the next stop. Westminster Underground Station has step-free access with level access to the Jubilee Line and manual ramps for the Circle and District Lines. If you're transferring from a national rail station onto the Underground, please refer to Transport for London's Avoiding Stairs Tube Guide, which will show you which stations and interchanges are step-free, and also gives details of the gaps between the train and the platform. The great thing is, if you need assistance, TfL staff are happy to help and you don't need to book in advance. For example, if you're visually impaired, please talk to the station staff who will assist you onto your train and arrange for someone to meet you off it at Westminster Station. Should you wish to travel to the Houses of Parliament by river, many of the pleasure boats that dock at Westminster Pier offer an accessible service. Please check with the boat operator. When the weather is warm, I think arriving at Westminster by boat is pretty magical. Staff on the river boats are helpful and will assist disabled customers embark and disembark. Please be aware that the ramp is quite steep, so if you're using a manual wheelchair, you may need to bring a companion to help you. Please visit the TFL website, www.tfl.gov.uk where you'll be able to find details on river boats as well as other useful public transport access information. Have a good journey here and we look forward to your visit. Getting in. 
The Palace of Westminster is open to all UK and overseas visitors. People come for many reasons, perhaps a tour, an event, or to meet their Member of Parliament. You can view debates in the House of Commons, the House of Lords and select committee hearings for free. However, to guarantee a place during busy periods such as Prime Minister's Question Time, UK residents should obtain a ticket in advance from their MP or a Lord. Many visitors come to Portcullis House on the Embankment for certain select committee hearings and events. However, most people will need to make their way to the main visitors' entrance for the Palace of Westminster at Cromwell Green on St Margaret Street. Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm a senior doorkeeper on the Parliamentary Estate. Now the first thing you need to do when you enter a building on the Parliamentary Estate is pass through security. All our security staff have disability awareness training and are extremely courteous, but I have a few tips for you. Before leaving home, remember to bring with you a photo ID, such as your passport or photo driving licence, as well as your ticket, invite or confirmation letter of attendance if you have one. Also, please avoid bringing too many bags or bulky items because there are no storage facilities and you may be refused entry. Security measures at Westminster are similar to those used in airports. You and your bags will be subject to a search. Understandably, there are a number of items which are not permitted to be brought into our buildings. These include sharp items including pen knives, scissors, cutlery and screwdrivers, paint spray, padlocks, chains and climbing gear, and items that make a noise. If you need to bring essential medical equipment, please speak to your host in advance. If in doubt, please contact the Sergeant at Arms Office via the main switchboard on 0207 219 3000. At certain times it can get very busy, so please allow plenty of time to pass through security. You may have to queue outside for a while, so ensure you have suitable clothing. If you have difficulty standing for long periods, please speak to a visitor assistant. Once you're through the security search point, you'll be given your own unique visitor's pass with your photo on a lanyard to wear around your neck. Please keep it displayed at all times and hand it back on exit. Enjoy your visit. Getting around. The parliamentary estate comprises a number of buildings with a range of different access measures in place to ensure you have an enjoyable and memorable visit. There are plenty of friendly, helpful staff on hand to assist you. Hello, my name is Monica and I'm a visitor assistant. After leaving security, you will come into Westminster Hall where one of us will be on hand to help you. We have wheelchairs available to loan, which you can book in advance. However, you will need to bring a companion to push you, as we can't provide personal escorts. 37 steps lead from Westminster Hall up to the principal floor to give access to Central Lobby and the House of Lords and House of Commons Chambers. If you are unable to manage the steps, a visitor assistant will escort you on a longer route round to a lift. The lift is 150 by 105 centimetres. The public gallery of the House of Commons has step-free access via the same lift. The gallery has spaces for wheelchairs and assistance dogs. If you are visiting the House of Lords gallery and aren't able to use the stairs, we will seat you at the back of the main chamber instead. All committee and dining rooms have step-free access. Our information desk has an induction hearing loop. We now have an infrared driven hearing loop system available in every House of Commons committee room. If you have an assistance dog, we can provide a sand pit and water bowl. Some public events and committee meetings are held in Port Cullis House, which has step free access throughout. Meetings may also take place in other buildings on the parliamentary estate. Please note, if you are attending a meeting or function by invitation, then you will need to contact your host ahead of your visit to discuss access requirements. Your host will ensure everything is in place before you arrive. We look forward to welcoming you. Taking a tour. Many visitors come to the Houses of Parliament for a tour of the historic buildings. 
If you're a UK citizen, then a free tour of either the Palace of Westminster or Big Ben can be arranged through your MP or a member of the Lords. These extremely popular members' tours can be booked up to six months ahead. Alternatively, you can choose to purchase tickets for guided and audio tours when Parliament is not in session, on Saturdays and on most weekdays during recess times. If you wish to go on a tour, it's advisable to purchase tickets in advance. On-the-day tickets, subject to availability, can be purchased from the ticket office at the front of Portcullis House. Disabled visitors can bring an escort free of charge, but will still need a ticket. Details of all tours are on the website www.parliament.uk forward slash visiting. Hello, my name is Andrea. I'm a visitor assistant. With the exception of Big Ben and Art and Architecture tours, which begin in Portcullis House, all other tours start after you've entered Westminster Hall. This is reached via the main visitor's entrance at Cromwell Green. There are three types of tour around the Houses of Parliament. You can book an audio tour, which takes approximately 1 hour and 15 minutes, or a guided tour, which lasts 1 hour and 45 minutes. UK residents who are blind or partially sighted can arrange a tactile tour. Spaces are limited, so please book in advance. We have a range of options for people with hearing impairments. If you use a hearing aid, induction loops are available for use during the tours. A hearing loop system can be provided upon request. You can also borrow a handset with a screen-based version of the audio tour. If you require a BSL signer, we can provide someone, but we will need to book this ahead of your visit. The audio and guided tours are also popular with blind and partially sighted visitors. All tours cover quite a distance with a very limited opportunity to sit down. As there are only three designated seating points on each of the tours, you may wish to book a wheelchair in advance. Please bring a companion to assist though, as we can't provide someone to push you. There are steps at the start and at the end of the tour, but a visitor assistant will escort you on a step-free route. All other parts of the tour route are wheelchair accessible, except for St Stephen's Hall, which has steps at either end, but can be viewed from central lobby. If you wish to go on a tour of Big Ben, please be aware that it involves a steep flight of 334 steps. You must be fit and capable of undertaking such a strenuous climb. We want to ensure you have a happy and enjoyable experience. Refreshments and toilet facilities. The Palace of Westminster has a range of services to ensure you have a comfortable visit, including accessible catering facilities and toilets. Hello, I'm Tracy. I work in the Vista Services team. We have accessible toilets throughout the parliamentary estate. Please speak to a Vista assistant who can direct you to the nearest one. We have one extra large toilet facility which meets the change in places standard. It's in the lower waiting hall, just off central lobby. The room has a large turn-in circle. It's three metres square. There's a hoist, bed and the toilet is 48 centimetres high. For visitors to Portcullis House, the two accessible toilets are on the first floor, which you can get to via a central lift. The dimensions are 214 by 150 centimetres, with the toilet 44 centimetres high. If you're attending a function or event, our restaurants and dining rooms have step-free access. What's more, the staff are warm and welcoming. Refreshments are available in the Jubilee Cafe. As you enter Westminster Hall from the main visitor's entrance on Cromwell Green, the Jubilee Cafe is to the right, down a short flight of steps or a lift. There's a selection of hot and cold drinks and snacks. Chairs and tables are not fixed and can be moved to accommodate wheelchairs and mobility scooters. It's self-service, but staff are happy to help. There's nothing quite like sitting down in the Jubilee Cafe to relax and reflect on your day. You can soak up the atmosphere of what used to be the old stable block with a nice cuppa before heading off home. We look forward to your visit. For all information, please go to www.parliament.uk forward slash visiting. 
This Access film was produced by the Houses of Parliament's Visitor Services team and Gilby Films.